hey everybody, one thing we've been wanting to talk to you guys about is FSDIA, uh, that stands for Figure Skating Diversity and Inclusion Alliance. And our mission is to foster a more diverse and inclusive figure skating environment worldwide through policy change, program development, and funding for the next generation of athletes. A group of us decided we needed to see some differences in the skating world and make some changes. And so we're comprised of skaters from all walks of the sport, various levels, various backgrounds and histories in the sport and experiences. And uh, we are passionate about trying to make skating a more inclusive, equitable, diverse space. It's been a very rewarding and interesting experience so far. Yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> it's definitely been interesting being uh, at the ground floor of an alliance nonprofit. Um, there's so much work I didn't, I knew that would have to go into it, but like it's definitely challenged me in, in the ways of, you know, continuing to speak out about my experiences and helping other uh, black skaters and other skaters of color, um, you know, speak their truth of what their experiences in skating. Um, and, you know, just effectively using your power, your platform uh, to make your little part of society better. And then hopefully eventually that spreads out and you make uh, an impact on the world. Um, and so I think it's been really fun, uh, challenging and really healing for me to be in a space with uh, skaters like uh, Elijah Balde, coaches like Michelle Hong, uh, Mariah Gerber, my sister's part of it, uh, plenty of others, Vanessa James, my Berenice Mate, just, you know, having that support group and being very open and frank about our discussions and the things that we've experienced and how we really want to change skating and, you know, learning that you can achieve things in skating that's not only just tied to direct success in competition. Um, and you know, just making everyone feel like they have a opportunity to try the sport and succeed no matter what they look like. Uh, and uh, you know, that all pretty much started in June <laughs> after, you know, with everything happening with George Floyd, Ronna Taylor and, and you know, every, uh, every sporting organization being like, hey, we love black people, they're our favorite. <laughs> and then you know, everyone's being like, hey, Actually, here are the facts. It was a very yeah. tough time. Very yeah, so they call out uh, the BS that I saw, you know, in my skating federation. So, and uh, so yeah, you know, holding people's feet to the fire, hopefully making this world better for uh, uh, everyone. Uh, and, and, and we are starting to see the ball rolling. We are yeah. starting to see change and it's across sport in general. And unfortunately, it's still being met with resistance for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> I can't even. Um, people's, people's resistance to change and that's expected and yes. unfortunately sometimes we have to handhold but uh you know we're not gonna do that forever but anyway. but at the end of the day representation matters because it enables people to recognize themselves and what they see and understand that they do belong in that place that sport that figure skating isn't just for a certain group of people and other groups of people don't belong there because, oh, well, our people don't do that. It's just a load of BS. And, and really it's just shifting the narrative and opening our minds to the ways that we have developed thinking, you know, and getting stuck in that way of thinking and just changing it and, and morphing it into a more inclusive space. And uh, it's changed that needed to happen so long ago but at least it's starting to happen now so um yeah we're we're going to be part of the the driving force that make sure that change is continuing and it's not just a flash in the pan yep systems of oppression have to exist with our permission so we have the power to change them let's do that